Hello, hello, great 12s. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, O Abudewa Sos, O Gobela Wemet. And in today's lesson, we are on momentum and impulse. And we are looking at a question here from Prelim 2017. So without any further ado, let's just get right down to the question. Ra. Okay, so it says, uh, question four, Two chody are placed on a frictionless track in a physics laboratory. A compressed spring is placed between the two stationary chodies. Chody 1 has a mass of 500 gram and chody 2 has a mass of 300 gram. The spring is released and chody 1 moves away with a velocity of 2.4 meters per second. Right. Then 4.1 here says, state the law of conservation of momentum. So quickly with that one. We just say the law of conservation of linear momentum states that in an isolated system, the total linear momentum is conserved or it remains constant, right? Then uh, 4.2 says calculate the velocity of Chody 2 after the spring is released. Now note the trend with these questions, guys. If they ask you to state the law of conservation of momentum uh, in the above question and then below, they tell you calculate the velocity, then just know that the the formula that you have to apply is the one for the principle of conservation of linear momentum so always note that trend in an exam so what we are supposed to do here uh, let's first gather up our information so we have uh, the data so our mass here is 500 gram which we know it is not in the desired si unit so we need to first divide it by 1000 and then we have 0 0.5 kg we have 300 gram here, which we need to divide by 1000. And this will give us 0 0.3 kg, right? Okay, so now they're telling us after the spring is released, surely one moves away with a velocity of 2.4 meters per second. So assuming that this is surely one and this is surely two, we do understand that if surely one has to move away, then it will be to the left hand side or the left direction. Or the western direction right so hence our 2.4 here would be indicated as negative 2.4 meters per second because it is going to the west right but then note that here we are told that the the two trolleys here were stationary so this uh, between two stationary trolleys now if they say the trolleys were stationary this tells us that the v initially was zero meters per second Right, so we have our V initially. Now, if we have to go back to uh, the notes that we spoke about, we can see that this is in case number three, right? Whereby we can see that we have uh, two objects that are moving together as a unit. Then after the collusion, they separate. So what we are supposed to do here, uh, starting with that, is this, right? So we will have... sum of momentum initially is equals to sum of momentum finally. First, they were going as a unit, so I need to have M1 plus M2, and then this is VI, so this is case number three. Then they were moving together as a unit, that means they shared the same velocity, initial velocity. Then after collusion, after the spring, they've been released from the spring, they now moved separate. So that's M1 V1 plus M2 V2, right? So we had our masses, the mass number one for the trolley, 0 0.5. Then trolley number two, it's 0 0.3. And then VI has to be zero because the trolleys were placed stationary. Then mass number one is 0 0.5. But then remember we were told that uh, uh, the trolley then moves away with a velocity of 2.4 meters per second, which we have concluded that the 2.4 there needs to be negative. So we have negative 2.4 and then plus 0 0.3 here, then we are looking for V2, which is the velocity of uh, trolley number two after uh, it has been re released. So this is zero. And then here we get 0 0.5 multiplied by negative 2.4. That will give us negative 1.2 then plus 
0.3 V2. And if we take this one and transpose it over to this side, we have 1.2 is equal to 0.3 V2. Now let's divide both sides by 0.3. Then that's V2. If we say 1.2 divided by 0.3, we get 4 meters per second. Now, since it's positive, we need to note that it's going to the eastern direction. So that's 4 meters per second east. So that's how you are expected to uh, solve that one there. Now let's proceed. We have uh, 4.3. It says if the release of the spring takes 0 0.12 seconds, calculate the force which the spring exerts on each of the trolleys, right? Calculate the force which the spring exerts on each of the trolleys. What are we given here? We can see that we are given uh, our change in time, 0 0.12 seconds, and then we are to calculate the force, right? So what can we do with that one? Let's uh, find our formula for that one. This will be F net delta T is equal to change in P. Now to calculate F net, we have F net is equal to change in P over change in T. Now the nice thing about this question here, you can calculate using any of the trolleys. You can calculate using trolley one, you can calculate using trolley two. So let's try to calculate using trolley one. The information that we have on trolley one is that the mass is 0 0.5 kg. The initial velocity is zero meters per second because remember it was stationary. Then the final velocity uh, we are given from the question here, they told us that it's 2.4 meters per second, right? So we have negative, remember it was moving away, right? So negative 2.4 meters per second. So this is our data. And then also remember changing time uh, we are given at 0 0.12 seconds. So this is what we need in order to calculate uh, our F net. Remember, change in P can be broken down to M, VF minus VI. And then here we have change in time. So the mass, remember, it's 0 0.5. And then the V finally, that's negative 2.4 minus 0. And then our change in time is 0 0.12. Now, all you need to do is just punch this into your calculator, 0 0.5 bracket, negative 2.4 minus 0, and then over 0 0.12. So this will give us negative 10 newtons, right? So we do understand that uh, we used a uh, trolley 1. So trolley 1 is experiencing a net force into the western direction. So when the, when the spring is released, then... Uh, Trolley one moves to the western direction because it is experiencing a net force into the western direction. So hence we'll have our F net that 10 newton towards towards trolley one. Or that's 10 newton west. Now you can also calculate, remember I said with this question, you can also calculate using trolley two. You can use any of a uh, the trolley is here or any of the objects. We have F net. Again, is equals to change in P over change in T. The mass for trolley 2 is 0 0.3 kg. And then uh, initial velocity, it's 0 meters per second. It was stationary. Final velocity is the one that we just calculated, 4 meters per second. And our change in time is 0 0.12 seconds. Right. Then a uh, change in P, that's M. Vf minus Vi over change in time. So our mass is 0 0.3 and then Vf is 4 and then Vi is 0. So we have change in time is 0 0.12. Now, if you punch all this into your calculator, you get positive 10 Newton this time, right? So your F net is positive 10 Newton, which indicates that this 10 Newton is towards surely two right so trolley two when the when the spring is a uh, when the spring is released trolley two moves to the eastern direction because it is experiencing a force towards the eastern direction 
right? So that's uh, 10 Newton towards 42. So now I was just trying to show you that you can simply get the same question just with uh, different signs because remember Newton's dead law says if a uh, object A exerts a force on object B, object B exerts a force of the same magnitude but in the opposite direction. So this is evidence of a uh, the Newton that law to say that if chordy one here is exerting a force on chordy two, chordy two will exert the same magnitude of force but in the opposite direction. So whether you had done uh, you had done your calculation like this or like that, uh, you could have got your three marks fully. Then um, let's proceed to the next question. We have 4.4. It says, describe how the acceleration of the trolley would be affected if the masses of the trolleys were doubled. Choose from increase, decrease, or remains the same. Explain your answer. So if you can just check this, this is a uh, on Newton's second law of motion. So if you can think of Newton's second law of motion uh, from your grade 11, you, you do remember that we... Where, where, when we defined it, that we said uh, where the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force, but the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass, right? So if you still remember that definition at that part, this is what we are talking about here. They're asking you about the acceleration if the masses of the trolleys were doubled. Now, knowing this relationship, that acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. If we decide to increase the mass, which is increasing the mass if we double it, right? Then we do understand that the acceleration will have to decrease. So our, our answer here is decrease, right? So we are supposed to say decrease. And then what's the reason for that? So we have decrease. And then for our reason, we simply say, according to F net is equal to MA, which is our Newton's second law, we know that uh, acceleration, acceleration is inversely proportional to mass, right? So an increase in mass, an increase in mass decreases the acceleration. So that's how you go about answering that question. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, with uh, our question, it is mattered like that. So please press the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed the lesson and then you have found it helpful. And um, do not forget to subscribe if you have been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet. But most importantly, Please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance. Remember, do not be selfish. We are winning as a team.